most times when you're adding an avatar into VRChat, they have a sphere for an eyeball. And generally, most characters don't always have a perfect sphere for an eyeball. Sometimes they're stylized characters. And let's say, for example, R90, we'll give this thing a couple basic texture, new, black, yep, white. So then we'll select that, assign black, black will be black. Okay, so there's our, our eyeball. And generally we want to add like some kind of a armature. We'll add a single bone. And it would generally tend to look like like this. Control P object. Pose, oops, to this, to this, control P to bone. Then we go into pose mode. I rotate it, and then you would have your eyeball rotate through this singular bone. But sometimes we want to have something more along the lines of. Got that disconnected. So we want something more of edit, edit mode here, wireframe, so we can see. We want a bit more of a let's say squished eyeball. So then here we go again. We'll do parent bone with empty groups. And on here, we'll call this uh, anchor and rotator. And then I'll also name the bones the same way. So this bone will be anchor bone. And this bone will be the rotator. Now we have to set the vertex groups. So anchor, everything, assign. Rotator, everything, assign. Now we go into pose mode. Oops. Select the bones first, then pose mode. Actually. We gotta make sure one thing first. We have to take this bone and make sure it's not a deformed bone. This anchor bone is not going to do anything of importance with the eyeball itself other than scale it and shape it. And I'll show you in just a second when I go into pose mode. So if I scale this on Y, you'll see that the eyeball starts to shrink. And we now have a very oval shaped eyeball but what if we want to rotate the pupil around the eyeball naturally without making this oval rotate out of place so right now i can't rotate it out of place right now just because of how i got it set up but it still thinks that it's a complete perfect sphere. It's the bone that's uh, deforming it out of place. If I go into select the armature here, go back into pose mode, I can take this bone, rotate it freely around, and the eyeball, the pupil, is just rotating around 
the sphere naturally, but it's just being scaled based on the anchor bone. So this effect can be used in animating a stylized character. Now I've used this exact same effect on my character. So let's scale this along the X to make it more oval shaped. And you'll see that the effect still works just fine. I can rotate the eyeball and it's not changed its direction any way, shape, or form other than along the sphere, which is exactly what I'm looking for. Now, if I switch over to my dragon character here, I've got the rig all set up. I have the exact same set up here on these eyeballs to do exactly the same thing. If you go to wireframe, you'll see that they're very not perfect spheres, and yet the bones are rotating them as if they are. Now this effect is great for characters with oblong shaped eyes and stylized eyeballs. Uh, eye sockets that just don't quite fit a perfect sphere. And you just can't quite be bothered to do key shapes or animations, but you want them to be tracked live in your game or in a different game like VRChat or Neos or uh, at least in Blender as it is with this setup. You can use this to animate from within Blender just fine. The problem, however, comes with going into Unity. Now here is the problem with bringing your character into Unity. Now this character is completely set up with the VR chat avatar setup. Everything is as it needs to be. Uh, materials, I've got the rig set up in the standard humanoid shape way. Um, follow the tutorial on how to set up the legs for a digi-degrade setups so that doesn't affect anything. But when it comes to animating the eyeballs, we go here on the head we make sure that we're using the eye bone and not the trim, not the anchor bone. Because the anchor bone sets the scale of the object and that retains itself while in unity. So this object of the eye still retains its ovular shape. But when it comes down to, let's say, rotating it, you'll notice something bizarre happens. It is now a dot in the eye socket. And there, you see that? It's flattened itself out. Something different is going on with the bone that is supposed to work just like how it is in Blender. Now, this is all the default settings in Unity. All I did was assign eye bone to the eye bone. The eye anchor is the one that's scaled. If I hit uh, done here, we'll revert. Um, yeah, so we'll go down here, we'll go to the armature, yeah, find it again, go through the hierarchy. The eye anchor is scaled right here, just like it is in Blender, the exact same values. But the eye bone is still at scale 111, which is proper. That's how it works in Blender. And I'll show you. So if I open up my tools panel and we take a look at the scale, the bone that I'm rotating is scaled 111. The bone that is the anchor is scaled to these numbers which is exactly how it shows in Unity. Now the import with the basic setup does not retain the ability to rotate it apparently the way that I want. Because if I do this, I should be seeing the, the purple pupil rotate up like this, but without rescaling the rest of the object in this bizarre way. 
it does not make any sense. So this is where you guys come in. I've done thorough Google searching and have not been able to find anything that showcases how to apply this effect and keep it in Unity to be used for VR chat or Neos or anything else for that matter. Um, the only other video I've seen, I'll put a link in the description. It is a really poorly edited video that is just very bizarre and hard to follow because you'll see. But from my experience so far in testing this out, it does not seem possible with this method to retain this effect within Unity that you can achieve easily from within Blender. 